Hi people, it's your girl Bibi and back again with another video. Welcome back and if it's your first time here, sit and set it down because this is now your home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. <laughs> Before we get into the video, I want to shout out to Letitia Sekasi for always liking and for watching my videos plus always leaving a comment. Mwah. Okay guys, I don't know how I should say this. I don't know if I'm supposed to be excited or like calm or like... I got my niche! <laughs> oh, I got my niche. Hmm. Or guys, I've got my niche. Ah! Okay, I think that's the best one. I got my niche. Yeah, for the YouTube channel. So I'm going to be telling you all about it and what this channel is going to be about. Uh, how best can I define a niche? A niche is a comfortable position um, in something you want to specify in. For example, YouTube, there are different kinds of YouTube channels. There are um, cooking channels, there are Lugambo channels, there are education channels you get. So like I found something that I want to specify in um, for my channel. And yeah, I'm excited to share that with you guys. Um, but before I get into it, the niche... I have to first give you some background, you know, some back history about what I had intended for this channel and the path that it took me to reach to this decision that I've made. When I started out this channel, I intended for it to be like um, pl a platform where people can tell their stories, good, bad, but just talking to people, listening to people, you know. Because personally, I'm a person who likes to talk and a person who likes to listen. I say I like to know. So, like, I thought maybe it would be a platform to share all this. But because we're in a pandemic, that was last year, October, when I started, um, we were in a pandemic. And I thought that, you know, after the pandemic, I'm going to start rolling with the kind of plans that I have. But... After that, there was school, school came in, and then I got so drilled with school, school work and stuff. So I just lost track with what I had wanted for the channel, and that collapsed. It just died naturally. But when that was dying naturally, I was picking up new hobbies. I was rethinking life. I was rethinking about what I can do with my life. So, like, during the, the pandemic, I had started engaging in makeup. And when this lockdown came... I got like a lot of time to continue doing the makeup so like I started really like focusing more on doing makeup because I've always liked makeup but I didn't realize I loved it that much, much until like I came back and I came back home and then I had all these things because my mom has a lot of makeup uh, so like I started doing it a lot and I realized this is something that I could actually do I started investing a lot of time in it learning and then I decided, like, you know what, I want this to be part of my life. So as I was doing the makeup, I was also investing in other things, my time on research on different, different other things. And then I started having an identity crisis because I was thinking, how can I be an engineer and then I'm doing makeup at the same time? How am I going to be able, like, to juggle those things? How am I going to, like, you know, make sure that I'm balancing them all? And in addition to, I also know like a lot of things. I have skills in many things and I wanted to showcase them all in that channel. You know, when you have an identity crisis in person, it's going to reflect in the things that you're going to do. So I started um, making content I, um, that I wasn't like really happy with. And, and also that time, um, of course, you want the channel to grow. So you want to make content that people are going to love, but you also want to make content that you love so i was torn in between i'm like what am i going to do for this channel how am i going to like make sure i i make sure the numbers grow but as well doing what i want and also people started asking me what's your channel about because i was posting um different videos on my channel and i was making more other videos in the background I didn't even end up like posting them but i just wanted to make content make content and it was really katoko so yeah, I, I said and I'm like, you know what, make something that you like. I said to, to think, what do I want for my channel? So I said, you know what, um, I said posting makeup videos. I was like, you know what, I'm going to take this makeup thing to the next level. I'm going to start. I'm not so good, but I'm going to 
on the way like keep improving and as i improve i have to showcase like my work on youtube yeah i'm not going to wait to be like already some grown like person in the makeup industry i was like as a learner let me start posting my videos and i want to inform you guys that i'm sticking on with makeup so yeah i've decided to do beauty not only makeup but of course when you're doing makeup it comes along with other things so i decided to do beauty generally for that then i decided to also do lifestyle that one will consist of um vlogs in case um i'm traveling somewhere and in case i have anything nice to show you guys yeah that is when the lifestyle bit will come about i'll be sharing with you my engineering study journey and yeah whatever i feel like is part of my life that i should share with you guys yeah and then i said it's also do business because i've been doing a lot of research on different businesses um how to make money when we um as a young adult yeah because like we can't be having fun and then not making money where we're going to get the money to have the fun so i decided to do something a little more productive that we could learn from that could share ideas and yeah that is basically it for me and so i said that to do um i decided that my niche to be beauty lifestyle and business i don't know how they are all connected because i feel like beauty at all you're talking business it's just like it's just all weird but i feel like that is what exactly i should share that's what my heart tells me like you know what yeah do this and guys you've seen me trying out clothes which is fashion <laughs> I, I'm not a fashionista, Bambi, so like I don't think I'm going to stick with fashion. If if you see me trying out clothes anytime, just know it's out of boredom. But me and fashion are just not compatible at all. So yeah. And to thank all the guys who have um, been watching my videos, all the Katogo and still come back to ask, but what is your, your YouTube channel all about? But then they keep watching the videos. I want to say thank you guys yeah and if you're interested in such content beauty um lifestyle and um and business this is the perfect place for you make yourself at home i am having a lot of i have a lot of plans and i've started already shooting videos regarding that niche and i'm very very excited i hope you guys are excited okay guys that's what i had for you um I hope you hit the subscribe button. I hope you like the niche. I hope you're going to follow me all through this journey of YouTube and whatsoever. Yeah. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave a comment.